welcome back to another video and today what we're going to be talking about is Windows 8.1 Update 1 for 2014. If you haven't heard already, the Microsoft uh, Update 1 has been leaked throughout the internet uh, yesterday of course at the time of this recording. Uh, you can get uh, Windows 8.1.1 for 32-bit, 64-bit, and ARM processors. So basically, every every which one of them. Uh, it's it was available on their site if you were if you knew the links, and uh, you you could get the links from uh, Digital Life Forum. Um, but it was first leaked by um, unlocking a certain area in your computer's registry but Microsoft patched that within like an hour so you can't get that anymore uh, I'm not too sure if they've already patched the links directly to the updates but even though like you know some people have already got the updates and I'm putting them up on torrents and whatnot I'll I'll have you find that on your own, but they're out there. They're there. The, uh, they are build build seventeen o thirty one, which is uh, released to manufacturers or RTM. And what is in these updates are you know pretty simple. You can probably already see it, and I, you know, I, I got a few um, Windows Start applications right here, and you know, you can open up the Windows Store from here and browse and do whatever you would like. And you know, that it has a tile bar now, so you can just minimize and or close out from here. It's a bit uh, Windows 8.1.1 is a bit more mouse friendly. Um, when you're also inside of an application, you see how the uh, the taskbar there just went down. You can also just go right back down and click in between them, uh, just like that. You can minimize them. Um, I'll go to the start screen here, and you know you can you can move around. You you can do all of that, and you're right clicking now is a bit more mouse friendly. Uh, from 8.1 it's you know <laughs> fits towards the mouse and not your like as it's a touch screen if you also notice this right up here here you can shut down a little bit faster um also OneDrive now the app doesn't really look any different other than just the label change OneDrive and there you know you could do to minimize you could X out apologize for that uh, police car if you may hear in the background but yeah there's there's a few uh, more background changes but I'm pretty sure by default if it's a desktop computer your you will be boot booted to the desktop and I, you know, I don't have a problem with that but you can just change that by going to properties on the taskbar and going to the navigation pane, going down to the start screen area and just click this or unclick it, whichever you choose. And just click OK and from then on you'll be booted to the desktop. Um, those are just a few changes I've noticed about Windows 8.1 Update 1. But, I mean really there's, I'm pretty sure there's a little bit more to cover but that's all of what I've noticed and I'm, you know, I'm liking it. A little bit you know it's a subtle change I'm pretty sure there's more updates to uh, to come about I'm not they were hinting around another update uh, by the end of this year so you know 8.1.2 is probably in the works as we speak but uh, other than that really you know being more li little friendlier to the, to the mouse and being able to get to your taskbar, whichever screen you're in, is um, 
pretty nice to me. And the app apps tray is been changed around. It looks a bit more organized. You can also set it by category, date, name, install, and all that stuff. They they go inside their own category. You know, books and references, finance. It's a little thing I've I've noticed that they're they're a bit more categorized to where they are and just the basic desktop applications are you know just under desktop you can find those a bit easily and you know that's really all I've been able to uh, uncover from this update but hopefully you can do your own digging and find out for yourself So, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.